trance is a naturally occurring human experience. And hypnosis is an interpersonal conversation that invites trance between persons. I like to joke that wherever you have a therapist hypnotizing a client, at least one person in the room is hypnotized, usually the therapist. <laughs> there are four or five flavors of trance that occur naturally. The one most commonly known to you is the attentive trance, uh, usually seen in people who uh, are adept at high performance or flow, as it's called in, in hip spiritual circles. Um, so when you focus attention in such an absorbed manner, whether you're painting, hitting a baseball, uh, kissing your beloved, holding your child, you're in a state of concentrated trance where you will not pay attention to or notice consciously even a crowd of 100,000 Brazilians in the stadium. You will only notice if you're the soccer player, the ball, the goal, the goalie. That's a trance. Ballet dancers who spin watching one point, meditators who sit watching one point are all inviting a focused, absorbed, narrow, effective trance that mobilizes unselfconscious activities and resources. The second uh, flavor of trance that occurs naturally is dissociative. You'll see Betty Alice do one of these in 10 minutes or so, where part of you is separate from your consciousness but active, and another part is known to your consciousness. Typically this occurs in times of trauma, illness. Uh, so years ago when I was walking across the street hit by a car, as, here as a pedestrian 50 plus miles an hour, I naturally dissociated. I didn't feel pain, I didn't feel fear, and I was able to express my wants to the emergency personnel. That's a dissociated state. You're not conscious of your body. It's, an, it's um, stressful emotions or it's um, pains. A third flavor of trance is surprise and confusion. The lottery winner gets the huge check and says, oh my god, I can't believe it, this must be a dream, this isn't happening to me, this isn't me. The person depersonalizes or abstracts from the situation. Confusion is a trance as well. Dr. Erickson uh, used it to great effect in difficult, dangerous, and otherwise confusing or alarming situations. The commonplace is uh, the shopping channel. You look at the shopping channel late at night if you have sloth-like ways, and you find a bewildering blizzard of detail, confusing. It will be $27.99 till Thursday night when we sell 500 of these, we're moving the price, and there are five, but we're giving you 10, but wait, there's more, followed by one clear line of instruction or directive. Call 1-800-such-and-such -such right now to order your whatever junk they're selling. That's a trance. Familiarly meditative and contemplative states, prayer, uh, mindfulness meditation, Zen meditation, all are transformative and trance-like and entrancing states of mind. 
and the last important set of trances, unconscious trances. Unconscious trances are similar to creative trances. You sleep on a problem and wake refreshed with some solution and you don't know how you got there. Or you're trying to write a poem or paint a painting or compose music or write an important letter and you don't know how but you must so you do something and the something is refreshing original surprising to the person herself that's a trance as well the other part of this and the therapeutic part is that we will be the the, the unsatisfying term is inducing trance so if I reach over to Betty Alice and go like this, I can induce a trance if she lets me. But I prefer to think of it and would encourage you as therapists to think about trance induction as the invitation to share a trance. Because trance is relational, interactive, and mutually absorbing. And when you see John or Betty Alice or myself induce a trance, you will see that very kind of focused, soft attentiveness that has an air of emotional intimacy, as though you were the only person in the world right now. And you know the effect of that on clients in therapy, members of the family, close friends, you're completely focused, calmly expectant of something nice, from which much therapy flows. 